Warriors, we are live from the quarantine. Still, still. Anyways, guys, it's, it's, it's still gratitude month. We're still in July, believe it or not. And um, I, love these, uh, I love these different suggestions about gratitude month. Um, another suggestion for your gratitude journal or to send me in a text so I can put it in the gratitude jar is to think about something that you find unique about yourself and what you're what you really appreciate you know that 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 aspect of yourself for um and I, that just like feels like a like as as all gratitude does like a feel good moment also think about something that your your kids your um family your pets do that's silly that you're really grateful for and i like i like that one too is just being that that sense of mindfulness during the day to really witness and then feel that gratitude just gets all those those good good chemicals a brewing yeah all right guys we're going to start with our jumping jacks if you're at home and you don't want to do jumping jacks you can do body weight squats all right i'm going to count the first five you're going to count the second five and go one two three four five six seven eight five ten and go one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. First set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. Grab your mats. Let's start on the floor. Let's start with our Cossack stretch. Leg out to side, rocking back onto butt, rocking back onto heel with butt. Is your wrist really bugging you today, Reba? Yeah, oh, poops. Does that, does that help, that brace? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, after you've done 10, you're gonna give me Five leg lifts. <laughs> Keeping those hips level. Try not to lift the hip. You're just really activating that glute. Switching it to the other side. Rocking back and forward. 10 times with the other leg. I don't know what's going on with me this morning, but my triceps are a hurting. Woo! Oh yeah, thanks, Bob. Leg lifts. <laughs> Takes a village, Bob. All right, guys. So now what I want to do is push back my butt onto my heels. Take that right arm, bring that shoulder down to the ground, and then rotate out, following your elbow with your eyes. Rotating. Woo! Just give me five on the right, five on the left. Ah!
Nice. All right, guys. Next, we're gonna sit on our heels. Actually, we're gonna sit straight up. I wanna really squeeze those glutes. We're gonna reach out. And then what I want you to do is reach towards me, then bring your shoulder blades down to your hips, squeeze them at the back, and then bring them up to your ears. So that's one full circle. Let's go 10 times that way. And then 10 times the other way. Thanks, Bob. Good range of motion. All right. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand, you're going to place it on your left shoulder. You're going to take your left hand, you're going to grab. <laughs> yeah. Ten both ways. You didn't know it yet. <laughs> All right. Pull that elbow over to the left. Get that really nice stretch along your lat, along your obliques. Breathe into it. Switch it out. Opposite arm touches opposite shoulder. Pull in that elbow. Getting that really nice extension along that side of the body. Nice. All right. I'm going to stand it up. Okay, let's go into our deep squat with hamstring mobility. So I'm going into my deep squat, grabbing my toes, rotating out, rotating out, lengthening those legs, chin to chest. Feel those hamstrings lengthen. Come back down. Reba, can you get your legs farther apart? I want you to butt down even, even further. Yeah, so take your foot out. Yeah, get down. Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's where I actually want you to be when you're doing your squats. <sighs> yeah, except that your torso would be more upright. You know, like right now we're really sitting into it. <sighs> you got those long legs, so you, you're gonna need to have a wider squat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah bragging about her short legs and her deep squat. <laughs> All right, guys, let's grab our bands. All right, let's just take our bands overhead. We're just going to go to touch the tops of our shoulders and back down. Touch the tops of our shoulders back down. Ten of those. Yeah, just the top of your shoulders. It's a smaller movement, yeah. Straight arms. Ha, ha, ha. Then we're gonna go over and overs. <laughs> Rob gets a big smile on his face whenever we say over and overs because he coined it. We used to call these over and unders. And he's like, no. We go over and over and over and over. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, we're not like jumping rope with it, you know. I like that sense of pride. There's your unique gratitude moment, Rob. Exactly. Clean up the uh, I think that's 10. Let's pretend that it is. All right, let's bring our bands up underneath our armpits, hooking our thumbs, and then pressing out. Ha, ha. Underneath your armpits. What are you doing? You're killing me. <laughs> Bob's just making up stuff. It's fine. 
You can rip off your uh, hair off your arms. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's go ahead. We're going to step one foot in our band. We're going to take our band overhead. We're going to do reverse lunges. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's a thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, split squats from the other day. Wee! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I taught that one on Wednesday. <laughs> All right, after you do 10 on the one side, do 10 on the other. Keeping that torso upright, trying to keep that knee. <laughs> about an inch off the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. Yeah. That's a thing. Who felt that in there? Front lead quad pretty intensely. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to step on our band, reach down low. We're going to do our RDLs. Really pulling that butt to that back wall, keeping those lats engaged. Don't lose those lats. Don't curve that back. Then we're gonna stay in that hinge position and do our bent rows. Squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. Ah. All right, still standing on our bands. We're gonna do our upright row. What the what? Overhead press. If you didn't get enough of those yesterday, here's a few more. I had such confidence when I started the uh, three sets of 60s of these, thinking, I know, I, I know, I know. I was, I, after 10, I was like, hmm, how's this gonna go? This is gonna be pretty interesting. All right, guys, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each exercise in both time circuits. So when we're actually into the circuit itself, we're gonna do a 10 minute circuit. We're gonna have five exercises in the 10 minutes. You're gonna go at your own pace and we're gonna get a, as many sets in as possible. But what I want you to make sure is that you're going slow and controlled with it. I don't want you to go super fast with this. So if you can do heavier weights with your bent rows, that's fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll have two circuits of the 10, the 10 minute circuits. But right now, as far as our warm up is concerned, we're gonna get used to all of those things, exercises. All right, so we're gonna start with our high pulls. So for my high pulls, what I wanna do is I wanna come over into my bent row, and I'm sorry, into my RDL, bringing that butt to that back wall and then I'm gonna come up onto my toes. Now, I'm gonna come into that upright row when I'm doing this. If I've chosen a weight that's too heavy, I can always just do it with one weight, all right? But what I want you to do is lock out those legs at the top, squeeze those glutes, and really think about coming up onto that big toe so that you don't roll your ankles out and kind of lose your balance, right? So go ahead and give me 10 of those. And again, when we're in our circuit, we're taking our time with this. <sighs> well, 
it's a theme for the month, right? So we pick certain exercises that we keep doing so that we uh, get really, really good at them. All right, 10 of those. And then we have our curtsy lunges. If you wanna use your weights for your curtsy lunge, that's fine, you can have them in either arm. But what a curtsy lunge is, it is a 45 degree angle lunge. So my legs are at a 45 degree angle. I stand back up, I come back into my curtsy lunge. So if I wanna use my weights, stepping behind, we're gonna do five on each side. If I want to use one weight, I can do that too. Trying to keep that body as upright as possible. So I'm not bending over with this, keeping that torso upright. Nice, Heather. Five on each side of those. And then we have our single leg push-up. So if you can't, if you can't do a strict push-up, which is fine. You can also do your eccentric push-up with a single leg. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, come down, lift yourself up. We're gonna do five on one side, five on the other. Otherwise, you're doing a strict push-up or you can do your archer planks. I wouldn't suggest doing this in a single leg though. Just do your regular archer plank, all right? Five on each side. side plank with dips 10 on I'm sorry yeah 10 on each side that's the biggest challenge in the workout is reading my own handwriting so you can either stack your feet one on top of each other this is going to be a little bit harder but what I want you to do is have those ankles knees hips shoulders all line up or you can put one foot in front of the other and then where your toe and your heel meet that's where the midline of your body is going to be and then what you're gonna do is lift those hips up as high to the ceiling as possible, keeping that shoulder over that elbow and back down. You can raise your arm if you want. You can put your arm on your hip. You can grab a weight if you wanna make it even harder. 10 on each side. I can hear all your body parts creaking, Bob. Yes. Uh. Uh. Ten. Nice. All right. Then we have our bird dogs. So for my bird dogs, I'm on my hands and my knees. I'm reaching out, so I'm reaching as far out with my front arm and my back leg as possible, keeping them in a, in a straight horizontal line. So I'm not getting height with it, I'm getting reach with it, all right? Go ahead and give me five on each side. Before we start our next round of warm-ups, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. Or this here reflect, refreshing liquid. All right. Next, we have our partial squats. Everybody's favorite. Now again, if you wanna do this with a goblet, you can. But these partial squats are gonna be a burner because you're not gonna come all the way down and you're not gonna come all the way up. You're gonna keep that constant tension as you do this, all right? So we got 10 of those. Oh, 
my body part's making lots of noise too. All right. And then, just to make it that much more enjoyable, we're gonna do a squat iso hold with overhead press, but just for five, all right? Now you're gonna go into a deep squat or a real squat, and then press that weight up five times, getting those arms as straight as possible. Yeah, nice. Yeah, just five of those. And then we have our bent rows. So again, guys, we're gonna get into that really, really nice hinge position. My knees aren't that bent. All I need to do is have my knees bent enough to feel my hamstrings activate, staying in those lats, and pull my dumbbells up to my hips. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. All right, alt leg V-ups, yay. Now I'm on my back. I got straight arms, I got straight legs. Coming up, touching that leg, getting that leg as straight as possible, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. If I wanna make this harder, I can come up higher, as long as I'm not throwing myself. Otherwise, just get those shoulder blades off the ground. Give me five on each side. All right. Nice, Sarah. Now, we're conveniently on the ground for our lying hamstring mobility. So I start with both legs up, both legs as straight as possible. I'm gonna grab my one leg. I wanna make sure this quad is locked out. As I bring this other leg down close to the floor, come back up, switch it out. My head and shoulders and my lower back stay on the ground the whole time. All right. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Yeah. So take your time, especially with this exercise, because we're really trying to get that stretch in. And that's all the exercises in both circuits, okay? So let's rest for a second. We're gonna grab some water. When I hit the timer for 10 minutes, we're gonna do our five high pulls, our five on each side of the curtsy lunges, our single leg push-ups or archer planks or eccentric push-ups. And then those are five on each side for those. Side plank with dips is 10 on each side. And then we got our bird dogs for five on each side. And we'll just keep going over those exercises until the clock runs out. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. So. I'm gonna hold it here. Same thing, I'm in that hinge position. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, cool. All right, guys. My timer is on the desk. Everybody good? Does everybody feel okay about their weight choices? Yeah? Yeah, confident. All right, guys, we're starting three, two, one, hit it. 10 minutes of glorious five exercises, starting with our high pulls. Lock out those legs, lock out those, those glutes. That's gonna help you get up onto those toes, get onto that big toe. Five of those. Ah, as I fall over, because I can't read and. <laughs> Then I got my five on each side of my curtsy lunges. Take your time with this, get that depth. Get that foot placed 45 degree angles behind you. Nice. All right, then we have our single leg push-ups or our eccentric push-ups 
or archer planks. I'm gonna do some archer planks. Five on each side. Then we go into our side plank with hip lift or hip dip. Ten of these. observation about these this morning she was pretending like there was a string pulling her towards the front wall and the back wall again you're going at your own pace just don't rush it all right now, if you need water, take water, take rest, and then hit right back into it again. Five on each side. All right. Five high pulls. Three. And my curtsy lunges. Five on each side. All right. And Single leg push-ups or our archer planks. If you're doing single leg push-ups, make sure you get your chest all the way to the floor. Side planks, right? Yeah, side plank with dips. Getting that body aligned. Head is in line with the shoulders. Don't let the head go back or come forward. We are halfway through. We got five minutes left. take your time really reach lock out that glute of that extended leg again you don't want height with that leg you want to get that leg really activated from that glute five on each side I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. Ha. 
And I'm starting again with my high pulls. Wah. Making sure I get that full RDL to start and then up. Lock out those legs. Really think about that big toe, getting that weight in that big toe to help stabilize you. <laughs> Bob falls over, I fall over. <laughs> All right, curtsy lunges. Again, you can do this with two weights, you can do it with no weight. Do it with one weight like I'm doing it. Woo! Five on each side. All right. Then, single leg push ups or archer planks. Maybe you've been doing single leg push-ups. Maybe you're a little tired and your push-ups, your form isn't that great. Switch to your archer planks. possibly can in those side planks. Making sure to get that shoulder over that elbow. Don't push back on it, all right? Nice depth rob with those curtsy lunges. Got a little under two minutes. Wherever you are when that clock, when that clock ends, we're stopping. Got my bird dogs. Yeah, so Reba, have your hips come all the way to the floor and then all the way up. There it is, yep, touch. Yep, there it is. Nice archer planks, Kyla. Five bird dogs. Somehow I've lost count of five. It's not surprising. <laughs> All right, guys, just under a minute left. Give me what you got as long as it's all good reps. I can definitely feel myself getting stronger with those high pulls after how many high pulls we've been doing lately. Curtsy lunge. Getting that nice 45 degree angle. And we are done. All right, guys, we're gonna rest for at least two minutes. At least. Set the timer for about two minutes. We're gonna get water. We're gonna get some rest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through the next circuit while you're resting. So we're gonna start off with 10 partial squats. So I'm gonna get into my squat, my normal squat position with my toes pointed out, really squeezing those glutes, keeping that torso as upright as possible. Now some people have really long legs and it forces them to push over. The more you push over, the less depth you get. But with this, we don't need a lot of depth because we're just doing partial squats. 
So we're not coming all the way up and we're not coming all the way down to parallel. All right, we got 10 of those. And then we go right into our squat hold where we are hitting depth. So I wanna make sure that my knees are in line with my hips. And then I'm gonna go into my five overhead press. Now it's just five guys, so try not to like blast through this. All right, got five of those. And then we have our bent rows. Again, don't blast through these. Give me a nice pause at the top and then full extension, pause at the top, full extension, getting that nice hinge position where I'm really pulling my butt to that back wall and I'm just feeling my hamstrings activate. Then I have my alt leg V up. So straight arms, straight legs. I'm either just lifting my shoulder blades off the ground, but I'm locking out that leg that's coming up or I'm coming all the way up and touching, just depending on how hard you want it to be. Whichever way, try not to throw yourself. Try really thinking about the contraction of the abs as the thing that's bringing you up, right? And then we have our hamstring mobilities. So legs are as straight as you can possibly get them, starting with both legs at the top, bringing that one leg close to the floor, really flexing this leg, getting that quad to activate, that's gonna help stretch that hamstring switching it out that's gonna be five on each side All right. ha. so the only ones that we have ten of are the partial squat and the bent row otherwise they're all five on each side yay and that was over two minutes of rest what was that you're welcome, <laughs> you're welcome. thanks Bob <laughs> you're welcome five yeah yeah so partial squat is 10, and we're gonna start. Three, two, one, go. So again, with that partial squat, maybe this first one you do without weight, maybe the second one you try it with weight. Again, don't rush through it. Now, if you're feeling this in your lower back, that means your abs aren't on. So I want you to really expand that belly full of air, and that's gonna help get those abs on. Then our squat hold to overhead press. Nice, five of those. Then we got our bent rows, 10. Give me that pause, don't rush this. Six, seven, eight. Super proud of all you guys. Look at how neutral your spines are. Nice. We're not looking up with those bent rows. We're keeping our heads in a nice neutral position. Then I got up my alt leg V ups, five on each side. Really think about that quad locking out. All right, then I have my lying hamstring mobility. So locking out that leg, really reaching that other leg to the ground. Taking my time, making sure my shoulders, my head, my lower back stays on the ground. Rob, right? Yeah. You love those ham. <laughs> Dude, I'm impressed. That's that's some really good range of motion. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So again, starting at your own pace. If you want some water, if you want a little bit of rest, just try to take as as minimal of rest as possible with this circuit, since it only lasts for ten minutes. Ten minutes of Glorious, fury. 10 minutes of fury, balls of fury. 10 partial squats, not going all the way down, not going all the way up. Constant tension. Then 
our squat hold to overhead press. Woo! Full extension with those arms. Ah. Then right into our bent row. Make sure you always get that set up really good. Get that butt back, stay in those lats. Give me that pause. Nice. Yay, then we're on the ground for some abs. One. Two. Two. Five on each side of our alt leg V-ups. Four. Four. Yeah, then my lying hamstring mobilities. Don't cheat yourself on this one, guys. Take your time. Really think about feeling that in the hamstrings. I can actually bring my leg a little bit closer to my head. Got some flexibility. This is what I'm feeling into my hamstrings. Some people feel it out here. Some people have to bend their knees. That's okay. Just take your time with it. All right, We've got about five minutes left. We're halfway through. Great job, warriors. Oh, who thinks this, this circuit's harder than the last circuit? Yeah, yeah. I think this one's a little bit easier for me than the last circuit, yeah. And maybe just because like we're warmed up now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Partial squats. The only time we let you cheat with these squats. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it though, does it? <laughs> yeah. Now while everything's firing, we'll go ahead into that squat with overhead press. Uh, uh, right into my bent rows, bent rows, butt comes back, lats stay on, pretend like you have towels in your armpits, don't let those arms extend out, right, keeping them in, ten bent rows, uh, Alt leg V-ups, just five on each side. That's all. string mobility. Getting that stretch on. Five. So Reba, switch it out each time. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Guys, we got about two and a half minutes left. Whee! We're averaging about two and a half minutes per set. Not too shabby. Half the money, twice the fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Partial squats, 10 of those. 
Nice, Heather. No, a sumo squat is a really, really wide squat, and your hands are in tight. When we're just doing a regular squat, your feet are, your feet are in a little bit tighter than that, and then we're, we, especially when, um, when we're doing our back squat. Yeah. No, 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 no feet, no ankle, no heels come up. Yeah. Lost my, lost my place. And it's more like a sumo deadlift than a sumo squat, you know. Oh, I just did like eight of those. <laughs> You know, usually people who do sumo deadlifts are people who have back pain, you know, but there, there is that argument that it is cheating because you are close to the ground so you're not lifting it up as high. Well, you know, and it's, this, it's like the difference between me doing a deadlift and Rob doing a deadlift. Rob has so much more distance he has to travel than I do, you know, although Rob can also lift almost 500 pounds in his deadlift. So there's that. <laughs> You're really close. You're so close. <laughs> Rob can also lift a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it was like when I was in pole fitness, the women that were real tiny were really good on the pole because they had so much less physics they had to deal with. The really long-legged, long-bodied women, that was it, had so much more physics to deal with, especially when they were extended off the pole. They had just so much more weight to lift. All right. That was awesome, guys. How are we doing on time? All right. So. Nope. All right. So what I forgot to do with you on Wednesday, <laughs> we're going to do today. But I think we only have time for like one set of these. I know. I know. Not three sets of 60, just one set of either 60, of 20, of 40, whatever you can give me. But we're going to do banded RDLs. All right. So let's take a moment to rest. Now I got that, that tricky, tricky mindset going on where I'm like, I can do 60, 60 banded RDLs and I'm gonna get to about 20 and I'm gonna be like, why, why? No, what, what we're trying to do is really build up your tendons by really infusing it with tons and tons of blood to get the capillaries to grow, you know? and uh, get those muscles and all of those, all of those connection points to really grow around there. So this hopefully will keep you from having any tendon problems. So, all right guys. Well, let's just try one set of 60 in whichever way you can give it to me, all right? So what I'm doing is my feet are more narrow, right? My feet are about hip width apart, grabbing down low, coming up, bringing those hips forward at the top, really pulling that butt back don't let those arms extend out. Really pretend like you're doing your RDL, like you're really turning on those lats. I mean, you really are doing an RDL, you're just doing a banded one. Now, if you're at home and you don't have a resistance band, you can totally just do body weight, that is fine. Or maybe you have a couple light dumbbells. We just want to go really, really light with this. Chris, what are we on? Eight, thank you. Till 
at the top. Where are we at, Chris? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Chris is my official counter. <laughs> He's good with the mats. <laughs> So there's a point where hopefully this isn't necessarily boring, but hopefully you get into a meditative mindset and you're just going for it. Feel like we're getting close. <laughs> I'm not done until Chris is done. There we go. Nice. All right. So I think we all got 60, right? Yeah? Yeah? yeah whatever. whatever Chris got. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, guys. All right. So we're going to get set up for our homework. If you need a, a pad for your back for your knee grabs, grab it. A mat. So we're going to set this up like a Tabata. We're going to do 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of either push-ups or archer planks and then 20 seconds of mountain climbers. I don't care if you do cross body or if you do regular. I just want you to make sure that you get the, those shoulders over those wrists. Don't push back. Don't have that butt up in the air, all right? So we're gonna go 20 seconds, 10 seconds to transition into the next exercise, all right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Everything's hard. Getting down on the floor is hard. All right, guys, we're going in three, two, one. Hit it, ah, hit it, ah. There we go. There we go. Using those shins, getting those feet flat on the ground. Keeping that torso upright as we bring our shoulders over our hips. Got about four seconds left. All right. Switching over, either doing our push-ups, keeping those elbows in tight or to 45. Never have those elbows out. We want them in. Keep that butt up. Don't let that butt drop if you're doing a strict push-up. That's going to keep your abs on. Switching it out to our mountain climbers. I like to do cross body. It's a little bit easier on my hips. Get knee to elbow, regardless of whichever way you're doing it. Don't tap that foot, Bob. Keep that leg up, keep that knee as close to that elbow as you possibly can get it. Ah, you guys, you did it! What a great way to start a weekend, right? Hopefully you have a really great day at work. Think about, what is that? Yeah, uh, sort of. We still have power hour tomorrow. Yeah, so we got that. Then we have book club tomorrow. So um, yeah, but guys, keep thinking about what you're grateful for. Be really mindful during the day. Pick a thing and see when you, when you notice it. Maybe you say thank you to somebody by not saying thank you, but by expressing yourself in some other way or doing some act of kindness or something like that, all right? But don't forget, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within, and then, yeah, just sing. Uh, well, then Bootsy's got to be the better teacher, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, that's what we should start. We should start each, each workout with a poll. No, no offense, but it might be fickle on Monday when it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Who's going to beat you up worse? <laughs> yeah. I get it. Sometimes he's my favorite too, sometimes. <laughs>